Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to get your BandLab song Spotify ready. Tap on the mixer settings icon. Now tap on the play icon and watch the master volume bar. The master volume bar should only be green. Any sound that turns the bar red will be turned into distortion, so we want to avoid it. If the master volume bar does turn red, you can adjust the volume by moving the dot on the master volume meter. Move the dot to the left to reduce the volume or to the right to increase the volume. Now tap on the mixer settings icon again. Now tap on the save icon. Then tap on save. Then tap on the exit icon. Now tap on the project folder icon. Then tap on your project. Then tap on the three dots to the right of the current version. And tap on download. And tap on audio. Now tap on the top half of the screen. Tap on the back arrow. Tap on New, tap on Import File, then tap on the file you just downloaded. Spotify sets the volume based on loudness, so if your song's volume is low, Spotify will boost the volume, but the volume may still be low relative to the other songs on Spotify. And if your song volume is too high, Spotify will compress the volume but then your song may sound crushed. Now double tap on the track header and tap on effects. Then tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the utility tab. Then tap on gain. We will use the gain here to adjust the volume of the song. So tap on the Gain text box. Type in 1 and tap on Save. Now tap on the back arrow and tap on the X icon. Now tap on the Mixer Settings icon. Now when you play your song, the red light should come on occasionally. Spotify also uses a maximum peak volume of minus 1 dB. So if the maximum volume of your song at any point in your song is more than minus 1 dB, Spotify will reduce the volume of your song. So here we're going to add a limiter. So tap on the mixer settings icon again. Double tap on the track header. Tap on effects. Tap on the edit preset icon. Tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs, and tap on the dynamics tab, then scroll down, and tap on vintage limiter. Now drag the dot on the line below attack all the way to the left, and drag the dot on the line below the word knee all the way to the right, then tap on the volume text box. Type in minus one and tap on save. Then tap on the back arrow and tap on the X icon. Then tap on the mixer settings icon and now the master volume meter should reach to just before the end of the green section. Adding minus 1 dB to the limiter makes sure that none of our song peaks above minus 1 dB, so Spotify will not adjust the volume of our song. However, for the limiter to work correctly, you cannot adjust the volume level of the track. 
and that is why we've added the gain control. And if you need to increase the volume of your song, while keeping the minus 1 dB peak, you can tap on the mixer settings icon again, double tap on the track, tap on effects, tap on the preset edit icon, tap on the gain effect, and drag the dot on the gain effect to the right. Here, I will add another 2 dB. Now tap on the back arrow, and tap on the X icon. Then tap on the mixer settings icon again, and now when I play the song, the song will be slightly louder by 2 dB, but it will still peak at minus 1 dB. So the line on the master volume meter will still stay green. Once you've adjusted the gain to your desired volume level, click on the three dots on the track, and then tap on Export as Audio. Tap on the top half of the screen, and your Spotify Ready Song will now be in your download folder. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!